Hey folks, today we're going to talk about how to completely disable transmit on Baofeng UV5R. Uh, these instructions should be about the same for any Baofeng, but this will essentially turn your radio into receive only, uh, so you can use it as a scanner. Now, there's two different ways to do this. There's a way to selectively disable certain memory channels, as a way to globally disable all transmit. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable transmit globally first, and then I'll show you how to disable transmit selectively on certain uh, channels. First thing we're going to do is we're going to download our config onto Chirp, take our programming cable, plug it in, and turn on the radio. Just like that. <clears throat> and then we come over here, download from radio. So you can see it downloading right there. Okay. And so what you'll see when this comes up is I have two repeaters programmed in. And I also have a public safety frequency programmed in. So the Baofeng can transmit on public safety frequencies, uh, any frequency in its, in its band, but it's not always legal to do that. So um, we want to make sure we don't accidentally do it. So it is possible to disable the keypad by using this button down here, the lock. But the... The thing with that is it can always be disabled. So if you say you want to give this to your kid as a scanner so he can listen to the police and fire, that's not the best way to do it. Uh, so now that we've finished downloading, you can see my repeaters here. Um, you can see what I've programmed in. Let's just show you exactly what I'm working with here. Let's go over to memory mode and go to repeater one. And you can see that uh, with the current configuration, I can transmit. Okay. So we hear the tail back from the... Uh, coming back from the repeater. So what we want to do is disable that, okay? So we can no longer transmit on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to settings on Chirp and go to other settings and disable transmit on VHF TX enabled and UHF TX enabled. Just uncheck the enabled and that's all you need to do. Upload to radio and then this is uploading. So that's all you need to do to globally disable uh, transmit on the Baofeng. Now, this will disable transmit not only on the repeaters, but also in VFO mode. And I'll show that once we, once this finishes uploading. Okay, so we're all done uploading. And here I have a simplex frequency in, in VFO mode, okay? And so if I go ahead and try to transmit, nothing. You see the, the lights, not LED is not lighting up, uh, and we're not transmitting. If I roll, go over to memory mode, I go back to repeater one again. Okay, again, nothing. Okay, so that works great. Now, let's say you want, you know, you're not just handing this off to a kid. This is, uh, you know, you have your ham license. You want to be able to transmit on local repeaters, but you don't want to accidentally key up on public safety frequencies or something like that. What we do for that is we're going to go back, re-enable transmit globally, come over here to the public safety frequency, and we can selectively disable them here by going to duplex and setting it to off. And here we're going to disable repeater two as well. Okay, because maybe we don't want to, you know, have that one uh, transmit either. We just want to listen on that one and upload to radio. So this is nice if you are maybe. You know, you want to scan, you want to keep the public safety frequencies in your scan bank, and you want to scan them, but, again, you don't want to accidentally transmit on. Okay, we're all done. Let's disconnect this guy. So, see, now we're back on the simplex frequency, so, as you can see, we can transmit on there. And if we go over to VFO mode, okay, and what do we say? We disabled repeater two. So repeater two doesn't let us transmit, but if we go back up to repeater one, as you can see, we can transmit. So <clears throat> there you have it. Um, in this case, we can transmit on VFO, any channel on VFO. So if you go over to the public safety frequencies, 155, whatever, and hit, trans and hit push to talk, it will transmit uh, on those frequencies, whereas over here in the, in the memory mode, it won't. So you can hit, hit, hold down the scan button, and it'll start scanning all those frequencies for you, as you can see. 
Right. So still scan them, and you'll still hear them if they come through, but they won't uh, allow you to transmit on them. So. so yeah, so then there's a public safety frequency, and it's not letting me transmit. It will stop the scan because it hit the push to talk, but it won't transmit. So uh, that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have links in the description below to uh, programming cable, the radio, and the Chirp software. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.